Hey everybody, it's Jay Kitchen from jaysbeard.com and Jay Kitchen's Beard on YouTube. I hope you're doing well today. We are doing not really a review today, but kind of a tasting. As I've said in previous videos, we occasionally stop by the world market and check out their foodstuffs because they usually have some interesting things from foreign lands. While we were walking the aisles the other day, we discovered a favorite, which we've seen there before, but it kind of brought back a lot of memories. This is the Dutch Stroop Waffle. Now, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but here is a picture of what a Stroop Waffle looks like. These are basically two uh, waffle cookies that are pressed and the original with caramel between them. When I've been to Amsterdam, I've gone to street markets and the fresh Stroop waffle are amazing with the hot caramel. There's really not much that compares. It's a very unique and very Dutch kind of treat, at least in my experience. There may be similar things out there, but I'm unaware of them. The Stroop from the Stroop waffle means sweet syrup. And obviously waffle is the waffle. Uh, originally, these were made from crumbs of cookies that kind of fell off the side or they didn't make the, uh, the mold. So uh, instead of wasting the cookie, they basically, I think, combine them into these waffles. There's certainly an element of uh, cohesion because they are actually bendy. Uh, the, first, the first registered recipe for the Stroop waffle was in 1840 in Amsterdam. Now, caramel is the original flavor. They branched out to multiple different flavors. Now, there are several manufacturers of these. The big one that I'm familiar with is Dalman's or Dalman's. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. But this is their maple Stroop waffle. And we also picked up their honey Stroop waffle. This one's a little bit bigger than this. So the honey has 10 soft toasted waffles filled with honey, cinnamon, and real bourbon vanilla. The maple, eight soft toasted waffles filled with maple and cinnamon. So there's eight in here. There's 10 in here. The best way to eat these is over, you get a hot cup of coffee or tea or hot chocolate, any hot beverage. And you put the Stroop waffle on top for uh, on either side, both sides for about a minute. So it warms up nicely and then you indulge. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We unwrapped the Stroop waffle packing from the maple Stroop waffle. We heated up our cup of coffee. This is the waffle. You can see it's bendy generally. And what you do is you put it on top of your hot beverage. You let it sit like this. And I'm gonna put the cup of coffee down. We'll probably have a cut here because I'm going to flip it over and put it on the other side as well for 30 seconds, a minute, some such like that. It's very difficult waiting for the warmth to go up into the Stroop waffle because I want to eat the damn thing. <laughs> I want to eat it. I want to eat it. Okay, I think it's been enough time. Our Stroop waffle has been chilling on top of our cup of coffee. It's nice and warm. It could be a little warmer. For sure, it's got a really chewy kind of consistency. You can see it's very bendy and it's great to dip into your coffee or tea or whatever. I'm not a big donut dipping kind of guy, but these are really good. If you see the caramel ones, pick them up. They're really good. These maple are super delicious. I'm not gonna taste the honey right now. I'll do that on my own time. If you're looking for something new or different in your pantry for dessert, this is something really cool to try. They're quite good. You can break them into quarters. You don't have to eat the whole damn thing. They'll last you a while. They actually, I believe, may sell them in long metal boxes at Costco. I've seen them there, actually. In the meantime, please stay lifted, be well-groomed, be kind to other human beings and four-legged critters as well. And we love you, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.